Hey girls, good morning. Happy Tuesday. So, hope you're doing well with the summer challenge. We're on day 27. I had to double check because I think a couple of the recordings I gave you the wrong day, but the image shows the right day. So, good morning. So, this week we're talking about healthy body and why and how to start getting healthy. Invest that time in you creating a healthy body that can endure the challenges that life brings our way. See what happens, girls. We get so busy taking care of everything else and everyone else that we tend to neglect ourselves, And we think that it's selfish to take care of ourselves. We think that it's a waste of time. And I was right there with you. But see, girls, here's the secret. If we're going to be about God's work, and if we're going to be about serving others and ministering to people, we must take care of ourselves. We must find ways to stay healthy. We must honor this body that God has given us, no matter what size, shape, color, weight, it does not matter. What matters is how you feel, because it's about can you get through the day, can you do the endurance, and what's happening with the body. Now so many times we've been so used to running to the pill bottle to take care of our bodies, but we're finding out that that is not the right way to do it. That it's actually harming us more. Because see, if we were preventative, if we took care of ourselves, if we ate properly, if we drank our water, if we moved a little bit, if we got enough sleep, a lot of these things would not be wrong in our bodies. The goal is, is to create a healthy and strong body. And healthy does not mean skinny, ladies. It just means that you can move, you can feel good. It's like when I fractured my back, the therapist told me, you know, because I was talking to her about the weight loss that I had gone through and released 100 pounds. I still had 50 to 60 to go and what have you. And she says, it does not matter what your weight is, so long as your legs can support your body. Because, see, I was trying to build strength at that at, at, during this period that I'm in right now. I've got to get stronger legs, a stronger core, to support so that the back can finish healing. But the only way to do that is to take action. And there have been times, ladies, that, yes, I've been lazy, I've been a sluggard. I haven't moved the way I needed to. And I believe that's why it's taking longer. Well, plus I'm older. But, you know, the thing is, what we put into it is what we're going to get out. I know personally I'm in the middle of a 90-day challenge to improve health. I've got great health. I don't have anything wrong with me. But I've got to strengthen the core and my legs to support and take some of that pressure off the back. So I'm working in a group, a mastermind group, that we're together building each other up, good morning Bev, and trying to help each other accomplish our goals. We've all set very defined goals to if we want to lose weight, if we want to build muscle, if we want to change our eating habits, you know, and we're, the whole group is using the Plexus products. Now, I, yes, I do believe in the Plexus products because I used them for a year. It was one of the tools that I used to help release 100 pounds. And yes, I'm using it again because I want to release the next 50 to 60 pounds. And it's just a tool to help the body heal faster. That's all it is. It is not a magic powder. And I still have to make the conscious choice to eat whole food, drink my water, and move. It's just a tool. And that's where we need to identify what tools in our life do we need to accomplish our goals to get healthy. My goal when I started really researching how to heal the body, probably about 10 years ago, was I did not want to be on medications at all from Big Pharma. That was my personal goal. So I researched ways, anytime something happened, I researched ways to reverse or heal or to take care of it naturally, because I refuse to take their medication. Now, if it's life and death, that's going to be a different case. But I've seen too many people I know die 
from complications of these medications, and I just choose not to do it. It's like every time the flu or whatever comes around, you know, I typically don't get sick, and let's just hope now that I say it, that it works, but it's because I take a probiotic every day. I don't get sick when everybody else is sick with the flu. I don't get a flu shot. But I've found ways to make sure that I can heal my body and keep it strong. It's a work in progress. I'm still not there. But there's a reason that I do this. Because number one, well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I feel better being strong and healthy. I can endure more, I can last longer in my day, and I can get more accomplished. This is why we want to start looking at how do we heal our body? How do I have a healthy body? And that's what you need to be asking today and asking God, what do you need to change in your life to create a healthy body? Now, we started yesterday your food journals, and I'm hoping you're doing them because it's going to reveal to you some patterns. And we'll talk about that on Friday. But I want you to start being aware of what you're eating, why you're eating it. And then we're going to talk about what can you tweak. Because see, it's what we fuel our bodies with determines how our bodies respond. Because see, God ultimately created us and designed the body to heal itself. But we've added so many chemicals and stuff to everything we're doing. The body can't heal. Big Pharma has created medications in such a way that it creates more problems and now you become dependent on them. And until we understand what's really happening, we're stuck in that cycle. And that's where 10 years ago I decided I was not going to be part of that. Now, don't get me wrong, if something major goes wrong with me and I'm in the hospital and they need to give me medication, life and death, then yes. But it's always, and what I've always said to the doctors is, okay, great, now how do we reverse that? And of course they don't know because our medical doctors have only had one semester of nutrition, so they have no clue what food. I know when, back in California, because I have PCOS, so that's another reason I had to learn to heal the body, because that's not a fun thing to deal with. But what's amazing about it is I went in, and I just wasn't feeling right, right? A little lethargic, some stuff going on. And so the doctor did a blood test on me. And he called me back that afternoon. He says, go to ER now. And I said, why? He says, because you need a transfusion. Your blood count is at 7, it needs to be at 12, you're dangerously low, you need to go to ER. And I said, no, I am not taking other blood in because I don't know if that blood will be rejected or received. And I said to him, what other options do I have to increase the iron in the blood in my body? And he's like, I don't know, I guess just red meat. So that wasn't a good enough answer for me. I went and did the research for it. I identified what I needed to do to reverse that. And within a week, I had brought the blood count back up. Now, it didn't happen overnight. And yeah, it was a tough week. But through whole food, and I did take an iron supplement, and then vitamin A, because vitamin A will help you absorb um, the iron as well as calcium or uh, vitamin C. So yes, I took those while I was adding dark greens, spinach, and that because there's a lot of iron in that. I had a little more red meat than I would have had, and I cooked the meat medium rare. That way, there was it was still at a point where it was new, providing the nutrients to my body I needed. The doctor was shocked. He wasn't happy because he wanted it his way. You see, because not all medical professionals agree that we can heal our bodies. Most of them think they just give you another pill. But that's what they're taught. See, if we're not taught anything else, we do what we know, right? If you aren't taught that the foods you're eating are going to hurt your body, then you just keep eating them. If you aren't taught that if your body doesn't keep moving, 
it will stop moving, then you don't change. So this is about being aware of what our bodies need and where we're at, listening to the body. Because I'll tell you this much, there's days and I'll go, you know, I'll be cooking and, and I just don't realize I don't have enough vegetables in the meals that I'm doing. And all of a sudden my body just tells me, we need to be dumping produce into you. And so for two to three days, maybe all I'm eating is a salads that I'm putting a lot of dark greens on, a good protein on it, and that and I'm not smothering it in a creamy salad dressing. I do use ranch, but I don't smother it and cover it. That's what my husband calls it. He loves to smother and cover. I don't. I want to taste the food, and he's good at smothering it. So, But there's a reason I'm taking you down through all of this. Number one, we want to heal our bodies, right? We talked about the number one reason. We want to feel good. We want to be able to keep going and endure what God has called us to do. But number two, and I'm going to give you a different reason each day. So number one was yesterday, feeling good, being where we're at, right? Today, it's about bringing glory to God. So with that, we're going to take a look. Your verse for today to write down, circle keywords, look them up in Strong's. In your Greek or Hebrew, actually this will be um, Hebrew, Hebrew, New Testament, no Greek, I'm sorry, I just had that moment here, um, so it'll be Greek, you know, look up the keywords, make sure you understand what the verse is telling you, and then ask God, what does he want to show you today, so today your verses are, or your verse is, 1 Corinthians, and make sure where I was at, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. It says here, Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. And I love the word all in there, because that's something that I remember. Pastor Chuck Smith of Calvary Chapel, um, Orange County founder of Calvary Chapels, he always had a quote when he would say the word all from scripture. It's all, all is all, and that's all all is. All means everything. So we are told in Corinthians that what we eat and we drink needs to bring glory to God. Now that doesn't mean that we can't indulge in a hot fudge sundae or a delicious piece of chocolate cake with chocolate ice, and actually I prefer Cream cheese icing on the chocolate cakes. Yum. Actually, ideally, Baskin Robbins ice cream cake with mint and chip and chocolate uh, cake. There you go. That's me. But we do it in moderation. So that's your verse for today. I want you to really look at it today. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Okay, that's your verse. You're going to write it down. See what God has to show you on it. Make sure you're writing in your food journal, food journal, and then ask God today, what does he want you to start changing? It's little things, baby steps, girls. I wish it was that easy. I wish it was so easy that we just wake up one morning and go, awesome, I'm going to eat right, I'm going to eat whole foods, I'm going to eat five to six small meals a day, kind of grazing through the day, I'm going to drink half my body weight in ounces of water. I'm going to exercise 20 to 30 minutes every day, and that means maybe just taking a walk, riding our stationary bike, doing a workout video, go walk the shopping mall, I don't know, whatever it might be. And I'm going to get eight hours of sleep, guaranteed. It doesn't work that way. I really wish it did, because our life would be so much easier. But girls, it's baby steps. It's one step at a time. Because we don't have that fairy dust to sprinkle it on and just make it all right. See, because our wellness, and maybe we need to look, call it wellness and not health, our wellness is a process. We don't heal overnight. Now, can we? Yes. Because we know that God can heal. I've witnessed it, and I'm sure some of you have. Where God is healed through faith and prayer. 
But right now what we're trying to do as women of God is to be good stewards with what he gave us. He gave us these shells and we have abused them and neglected them because we're too busy being busy. This week we're focusing on you. You're going to focus inward to you and what is it that your body needs to start healing and being healthy. That you can feel well, that you can feel full of life. That you can endure what God has called you to do. So write your verse down today. Check out the keywords. Ask God what he's showing you. And then also ask God what he wants you to start working on this week. Maybe it's just drinking water. Maybe you're like me. I forget. I have my post-it and I ignore it. But we should be drinking half our body weight in ounces of water per day. Now some of that water can be coming from food, like watermelon has got a good heavy water content and some of that, but we've got to start somewhere, girls. Maybe it means you eat out all three meals, you go to fast food. Well, let's try one meal not eating out and making it yourself. Scramble up some eggs in the morning to go with your coffee baby steps, but we've got to make those steps. We've got to create better habits in our life if we're going to heal our life. And I know I went over the five minutes today because I just, I'm really passionate about us being healthy. And I think it's because I came from a place where I had to heal my body. And I know it's possible. And I'm 53 years old now, and I can still heal my body. There is no age limit on when the body can heal. Our limitations come in our mind because we are stopping ourselves from doing what's right. So my challenge to you today is what is it that God wants you to start changing in your life to be healthier? Are you a smoker? Maybe God needs you to stop smoking. That's a hard one. I understand that. But find ways to heal your body girls do your research but let's start right now with our verse 1 Corinthians 10 31 write it down keywords look them up in strongs ask God what he wants to show you today write that down and then ask God what he wants you to change starting today baby steps make sure you're keeping your food journal and now that you've done the first day I want you to write down how you felt after you ate that day how did you feel once you finished eating? Were you satisfied? Were you disgusted? Did you overeat? Do you feel lethargic now and you feel like you have to pass out? Keep in mind, food should fuel the body. Food is like gas to a car. It should be giving us the go that we need. Okay? So we got to look at what we're consuming because if it's packaged food, it is going to weigh you down. You're not going to have the energy. It may have sugar in it that's going to boost you, but your best sources of fuel are whole foods. No packages. If you're looking at frozen vegetables, make sure the only content in it is whatever the vegetables are. Maybe sea salt, maybe water. Okay? No chemicals, girls. That's an easy one to do. Okay, deep breath, and Heavenly Father, I just lift these girls up to you as I'm challenging them today, and you are challenging them, to heal their bodies. Because if we can heal our bodies, Lord, our minds and our spirit will follow along, and we have more endurance for you. I pray, Lord, right now over each one of these girls, whatever their area is, Father, I pray that your hand will touch them, and you will help reveal to them what step you want them to change today to begin that process to heal their body. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you're willing to be so patient with our stubbornness as we are hard to change from our ways. We just love you, Lord, and we lift these ladies up to you in your precious name. All right, girls, there's your challenge for today, and this is a tough week. Because a lot of people don't want to be talked to about anything on their health. They want to go about their life the way they are. 
but it's going to catch up with you. So let's start healing our bodies now. It's a day-by-day -day process. Sometimes it's hour by hour. But baby steps. Identify where you're going to start and then move forward. All right? For those that haven't visited us in RISE, we're still open. A couple more spots. If you want to look at it, I believe it's pinned at the top of the page, robinhardy.net slash RISE. It's our mentoring group. These ladies are awesome. And I love these girls so much. We had a great call yesterday, and we're just getting ready for an amazing transformation in each one of their lives. So come join us in RISE if you're ready to step up your game, if you're looking for mentoring, and you just want to be accountable. All right, so I've carried on now for probably a full morning minute session, but uh, I hope you love the information, and it'll encourage you to take the next step. Tomorrow, another reason why we want to get healthy. All right, love you girls. Bye-bye.